I'll tell you what, this Pelosi story is getting more and more suspicious by the day. I mean, I had a weird feeling about it from the start just because of the fact that I find it very hard to believe that some random person can break into the Speaker of the House's private home, that there's no state-of-the-art security in place, guards, cameras, sensors. I mean, how is that possible? It's the third most powerful position in the United States. With that said, weird details keep coming out every day about this. Everything from the guy being in his underwear, the guy having zip ties, the guy that Pelosi knew the guy, they didn't know the guy. And now NBC came out with this video today that quickly got taken down after because it showed brand new details of the story. Here, check out this video. NBC News learning new details about the moments police arrived. Sources familiar with what unfolded in the Pelosi residence now revealing when officers responded to the high priority call, they were seemingly unaware they'd been called to the home of the Speaker of the House. After a knock and announce, the front door was opened by Mr. Pelosi. The 82 year old did not immediately declare an emergency or tried to leave his home, but instead began walking several feet back into the foyer toward the assailant and away from police. It's unclear if the 82 year old was already in injured or what his mental state was, say sources. According to court documents, when the officer asked what was going on, defendant smiled and said everything's good. But instantaneously, a struggle ensued as police clearly saw David DePap strike Paul Pelosi in the head with a hammer. After tackling the suspect, officers rushed to Mr. Pelosi, who was lying in a pool of blood. Crazy, right? And it got taken down. So that makes me wonder. What on earth is happening here? You know, the more the details change in the story, the more the more screwed up I think it actually is. So I think something really weird and twisted happened here. And I'm gonna have to ask you to go over to the independent forum for part two of this video where I really get into what I think happened. Because it's not YouTube friendly.